Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tan Butterflies. Today we are doing, um, we're starting, kicking off the 12 Days of Christmas collab. And today is day one and it is ornaments. Our host, or hosts are Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista's Crafty Life. I had to look. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, it's also, for those of you that follow the first of the month uh, collab, this is also kind of tied in with the first of the month collab. So I will leave the links in the description box below for the host's channels and uh, the playlist. So go check all of that out. Um, check out the other creators. We've got, you know... These collabs that I've been doing, we've got a lot of talented people in these collabs, and I just, I get a kick out of watching them and getting inspired and new ideas. So when you get done watching my video, head on over to the playlist and go through the playlist, like, comment, share, subscribe, show everybody some love. Um, and I also want to take this time to say thank you to our subscribers or my subscribers um on this channel you guys mean the world to me you you know i can't do this without you the fact that you know you watch my content and enjoy it helps me to be able to continue to do it um if you're new here and haven't subscribed yet i invite you to subscribe i will be doing a giveaway when i hit a thousand subscribers um, my last few videos, I, I don't know what my, my brain must've been on vacation because I was looking at, you know, I had 595 or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't mathing very well. I was thinking, Oh, I'm almost there. I've just got a few more to go until I saw that 600 number. And I'm like, what was I thinking? But anyway, I'm still working toward it, and I know I'll get there eventually, and with your help, it'll get done a lot sooner than without your help. So I appreciate all of the the um, love and support y'all give. Just um, let me know what you think of the ornaments that I created for this video today, and we're going to get on with the crafting. So as I mentioned before, um, this is a collaboration with Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista with Christie's Crafty Life. This is going to be a 12-day run um, because it's the 12 days of Christmas. So there you have it. All the information is in the description box. I got these cute little rub-on transfers off of uh, Amazon and decided that I was going to make some ornaments using those, or some of them anyway. So I've um, cut them out. I've got some log slices there. I'm just trying, uh, placing them and, and looking to see what which ones fit the best. And I just took, um, I did this kind of in a, a batch, um, where I took, um, I put all the rub on transfers on first and then went through and embellished each one after that. So we've got a couple of really cute, um, transfers on here. Got a couple of little gingerbread things, got a hot chocolate thing, a cupcake, a poinsettia. Ah, what else? Let's see, I had two gingerbread things. 
I don't know. I don't remember now. It's awful. There's the hot chocolate one, and then... Hot chocolate cupcake poinsettia. I had six of them. I don't remember what the sixth one is. Lord, y'all getting old is, is, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's no fun. I literally just made these last night. <laughs> and I don't remember. Oh, it was a snow globe. That's what it was. See? Shh. It's getting bad, y'all. I'll, I'll uh, get up to go to the kitchen for something. Forget what I went in there for. Give up. Come sit back down. And then it hits me. And I'm like, I have to get back up and go. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, well. It's life, though. But these, um, these particular rub-on transfers that I got off of Amazon, um, they're really easy to work with, but unlike, I mean, I've watched other creators use like some of the IOD tra rub-on transfers and other, you know, essential stench, essential stencil ones, um, and they have a different look about them. These still kind of look like a sticker more than a transfer. Some of the, um, like the IOD and the essential stench. Is, yeah, that's a tongue twister. Anyway, the other ones look more like it. Um, when you put them on, you know, watching the other creators use them, they, they look more like something that was painted on the, um, the item rather than having more of a sticker look these still have that shiny glossy you know like a sticker look to them so but they're really easy to to transfer and they're really pretty i i mean there's there's nothing you know just wanted to give you all a heads up though that you know if you like that more blended makes it look like it was painted on rather than more of a stickerish look, then you definitely want to go with one of the um, higher end companies that that make these. And then here I'm just taking um, this red velvet ribbon, and I dovetailed each end um, my drill is dead the battery is dead and it's over in the other cabin anyway but i don't know where my drill bits went so i had to improvise and not drill a hole for like the string or whatever to go through i had to improvise so i made the hanger part of the embellishment if that makes any sense <clears throat> so i just took and uh, dovetailed each end and then crisscrossed and glued it on there. And now I'm making like a little bow that I'll place on top of there. And so we'll have, you know, it has dual purpose. It'll be, a, it's a hanger, but it also is part of the embellishment. So that's the lovely thing about crafting. Sometimes you have to get creative in how you implement something and if you get creative enough you can make it functional and look like a embellishment i had my extra crafty pants on yesterday evidently so that one's the poinsettia and normally i probably wouldn't have left all of them in here you know, each individual ornament, but I did each of them differently. So, um, yeah. Because <laughs> oftentimes we try not to repeat the same process or the same, you know, like if I'm making six of one thing, I'm not going to make you watch me do all six of them if they're the same. But I did different little, uh, 
different little things with the embellishments on each of these, so I went ahead and left it in there. Now, as I said before um, in the intro, I will be um, most of my videos for this 12 Days of Christmas uh, collab will probably be just one project. Now, this one I had two. I did two different types of ornaments. Um, and there may be a couple of them that I do more than one project per se. But... Um, realistically working a full-time job and you know having to create and then turn around and edit and upload and and all of that good stuff it really is time consuming so um if i want to be able to participate in each day i've got to participate minimally as far as the time commitment so i won't get to do as as many projects as i would like to do but at least i get to do you know at least one project for each um for each of the the days or whatever now there's going to be one that i'm definitely not going to be in because I don't want to upload two videos on the same day so I think it's day 11 if I'm not mistaken yeah day 11 is um, it's Christmas trees is the theme for that day and that's also the same day that the just your imagination challenge um, is happening and and I get to figure out I get to work in all my stuff for trying to make the the stuff for that too amongst all of these joy joy and I have a craft show coming up um the weekend before Thanksgiving that I've got to prepare for and this weekend we have to go swap out stuff in our painted tree booth so, yeah, it would almost be, it would almost be nice to take a week vacation, but I'm not going to. I will, because we're, our office is closed quite a bit for the, you know, for Thanksgiving and, and Christmas and all of that, so... I will be, uh, I will muddle through and enjoy myself and just not let it stress me. I'll get it, get it done one way or another. So, so far I've got the little, um, the poinsettia one, the hot chocolate one, and the little gingerbread man. Um, and as you can see, I've, I've kind of embellished each of them a little different, you know, the poinsettia, I took a couple little teeny tiny pine cones and pit berries and grouped them at the bottom. I grouped some at the top on the hot chocolate, I believe, and then I pulled out the puff paint for my little gingerbread man there and I'm just going over his little details with the puff paint to give it just a little dimension so that it doesn't look so plain and then I put a little bit of ultra fine glitter on there for a little bit of extra shimmer and sparkle and holiday fun I've always liked making like the little log slice ornaments and stuff. I don't know what it is about them. I just think they're so cute. And then I decided that that one was still just a little too plain. 
So I kind of took a page out of the Kelly Barlow book and added some stitching around it. I haven't done that in a little bit. I thought that would be a nice little touch without going overboard or, you know, having too much in there. So I'd love to hear which one of these ornaments um, is your favorite. So chime in in the comments and let me know. Also like to, again, say thank you to all my subscribers. And um, welcome to all anybody who's not a subscriber. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video and enjoy the content and would consider subscribing so that you get notified each time I upload new content. And I do a lot of these uh, little collaborations and whatnot, and they're really fun. Um, and it's, it's great to be able to interact with other creators um, and get different ideas, different pointers. Uh, we're just... It's, you know, the ones that I'm, that I collaborate with, they're just a lovely bunch of, um, people that, you know, if any of us that are newer to this, um, you know, cause Brenda and Kathy Joe and, and Krista and several of the others, you know, they've been doing this for a while and they are just a plethora of knowledge and, they're perfectly willing to share that knowledge with, you know, with those of us that are, haven't been doing it as long and, you know, giving pointers and whatnot to help us, uh, grow our channels. So it's, um, it's just been an all around great experience being able to collaborate with all these wonderful ladies. Um, you know, I feel extremely blessed in that. Except sometimes I don't feel so blessed with the Just Your Imagination one. Sometimes I feel tortured. <laughs> they come up with some wacky, wacky things for us to craft with, let me tell you. But it's so much fun to try to think outside the box and come up with something out of, you know, using something that you normally wouldn't craft with or something that you would normally throw away. So, um... It, it's really fun. It, it just, I feel like oftentimes it brings me to, you know, to a whole different level of thinking when I'm crafting. So the last one we had to use toilet paper and <clears throat> my project for that one, you know, with the toilet paper wasn't, I wasn't happy with it, but after watching all the videos and what everybody else did with the toilet paper, I got inspired, you know, and, and learned a new technique that I used, you know, for my next, you know, video that came out. So it's really neat. Anyway. All right. So now I'm working on the snow globe one and I've done the, the cupcake ornament. And just putting a little bit of embellishment on there. This one I felt was better just using like the baker's twine instead of the uh, velvet ribbon. I just felt like the hanger needed to be just a little simpler than um... <laughs> he's being a stinker. I'm trying to keep him off of my puff paint, and he's so stubborn and pushy. He's going to jump back up there in a minute, and I'm going to keep trying to... to and, and it looks like I'm being rough with him because the video is sped up, but I'm really not. <laughs> I didn't punch him there. I just nudged him away. 
I, I, I crack up every time I'm editing and I'm having to kind of nudge him away from the edge of my, my thing because with this, when I speed up the video, it looks like I'm punching him or, or whatever. I'm not, I promise you. <laughs> I absolutely adore him. But he is such a stinker. And he's stubborn. I had even more fun trying to keep him with the next project. That was a... That one would have been a, a mess that he did not need to get into. If he'd have hit some of my puff paint on these, that would have been minor for what he'd have, you know, stuck on his paw or whatever. But my next ones, that would have been a heck of a mess for him. But anyway, so here is the little gingerbread house, and I'm back to the velvet ribbon. One of those, let's see, the hot chocolate one, I didn't put a little bow on. I just put, like, the ribbon and then embellished on top of it with the little pine cones and stuff. Because that, that hot chocolate decal took up way more of the, the log slice than most of the other ones. But here I just did the, the same thing there, and then I did some stitching with the puff paint around it. And sprinkled some of the, the glitter on there. I'm probably going to be finding this glitter all over for the next 10,000 years. <laughs> I really, I, I really like what um, a touch of glitter adds to a project. Um, but it really is... Um, it really is a mess to use. So, I'll walk into the office some days and have glitter on something, you know, and, and, and somebody will be like, you've got glitter all over you. I'm like, yeah, they don't even bother saying anything anymore. They know I'm a crafter. Glitter is just part of my, uh, become part of my daily uniform. <laughs> as as has paint at times become part of because sometimes, you know, I use mostly, you know, paints and whatnot that that wash off easily. I mean, it's chalk paint or it's acrylic paint for the most part. But some of them the, the antique wax definitely is one that um, sometimes does not come completely off when you walk, try to wash your hands. So, um, every now and then, I've got paint stains on my fingers where I can't get it off. Oh, well. So, now we're on to DIY number two. And these... Are just um, interesting. <laughs> I got some of those little miniature red solo cups that um, did I get them at. I don't remember if I got them at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. And I took some of that uh, and a lot. I did. I did the this part of it um, filling them like a year or so ago, and they've been sitting over there waiting for me to uh, actually complete them. But I took um, the little red Solo cups and I took some of that spray foam insulation and um, filled them up and just let it, you know, let it sit. Now, one thing, if you're going to, if you're going to recreate this, and I didn't realize this until I went to use, you know, use them. Because they seem to be standing up on the table over there where I had them just fine. But um, if you're going to redo this, uh, just beware that the bottoms of the cups, I think the insulation stuff, I, 
Anyway, the bottoms of the cups ended up with, um, they, it pushed them out where the cups wouldn't stand up. Um, I originally, my original idea, idea for these was for Christmas ornaments, but I would have liked to have been able to use a couple of them for a tear tray, which I cannot do because that, uh, foam stuff pushed the bottom out a little bit where they won't stand up. Hence the reason I've got them in these cups. And the first one, as you can see, turned into a mighty mess. Um, cause I used, you know, I used those little cups to stand them up in and it was working just fine until I got the caulk on them, which added weight to them. So then I stuck them in there and it wanted to fall over. And I'm like, Ugh. so I ended up with it on my shirt all over, you know, you saw what happened there. So I took some of those little clips from the, um, the Dollar Tree and used it as a counterweight in the cup so that, but anyway, and for the hanger for these, I took some jewelry findings, um, some eye loops and stuck those down in the, um, the foam insulation thing and put a dab of hot glue to, you know, make sure it stayed in place. So that's how we got to this point here. And then I used the, the caulking and just went around the, um, went around all of that and then took some, I didn't have any polymer clay sprinkles. Um, Dee Dee's got a ton of that stuff, but it's at her house. So I took some of my bugle beads to use for sprinkles and I've got these little teeny tiny polymer clay peppermints. I was trying to find stuff at Hobby Lobby to use for these as far as like the polymer clay, you know, and whatnot. But they didn't have a whole lot to choose from, especially that was Christmassy. So, um, I improvised. I dug through my stash of different things and, and just basically made do with what I had. And I think they turned out really cute. But yeah, see, now you see why I said a little bit ago that, you know, I really had to fight to keep him. But he, he laid down and left it alone. But you, if you've been watching for a little bit, then I know you've seen several videos where he, you know, stretches out his paw and lays it on top of whatever I'm working on. That would have been a disaster with this. Because this stuff is, would not be easy to get off of his fur. So, um, <laughs> I was try trying really hard to keep him from doing that. And he happened to decide he was going to get up there and just lay down and take a nap. Like a good little kitty. He is being his sweetest self there. He's not always so sweet when he's got the zoomies. He's a nightmare. I didn't make you watch me do all of these, but I did these, um, all of them in different, you know, different little things. Um, did one with blue, did one with pinks and, and purples, did one with red, green, and a gingerbread man. Um, and then I think I did pink and red. Yeah, something like that. You know, I should have sprinkled some of that glitter on these too. Oh, well. Too late now. It would have added just the right little shimmery. I've gotten away from using a lot of glitter, but at Christmas time, I like the shimmery and the sparkly and the pretty. 
I don't like the I don't like the Dollar Tree tacky glittery stuff, but I like the stuff that has just the right you know little shimmery sparkle in it. So, I know that there's other creators out there that they they hate 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 glitter. I have a love hate relationship with it. And there we have it. Here's each of those little ornaments for the final reveal. And I thought they turned out just so cute. And that one's the pink and purple one. And, oh, that's the green and, that's the Grinch green and red. I had two different greens. I had, um... The darker green that I used with the gingerbread man. And there's the pink and, and red one. And then I had like what I call a Grinch green for the other. So. Yep. The blue one. I don't know. That footage was messed up. I'm so sorry. But here's our, our little log slice ornaments. I thought those turned out really cute. I did, I was going to try to do some talk um, stenciling on some of these, but I, the chalk paint that I got off of Amazon, I'm not fond of the red and green and whatnot that's in there, so I thought I'd try using paint, and it didn't work, so um, I had to go order some chalk paste. So I can wait for that to come in before I can do my, my chalking on there. That's okay. And see, these ornaments would make a great, well, never mind. Thanks for watching and have a great day.